similar to the improvisation of strain efficiency like we need to maintain uniform stress for our gradient right for all the layers of the underground cable right so for maintaining that the condition is this like in capacitance grading okay that means you are going to use several layers of different dielectric medium of epsilon 1 epsilon 2 and epsilon 3 so with this kind you can get uniform stress if you put take the epsilon 1 epsilon 2 epsilon 3 such that it will follow this equation that is 1 by r epsilon 1 equals to 1 by r1 epsilon 2 equals to 1 by r2 epsilon 3 and here we all know that small r is less than r1 is less than r2 right so for satisfying the above equation epsilon 1 must be greater than epsilon 2 must be greater than epsilon 3 so that's how you need to get condition for this permittivity of different layers which are having the radius r1 r2 and small r the small r is r is for conductor anyways okay right in this capacitance grading the potential difference between each layer so i'm talking about the potential difference between each layer you listen here okay that means across that particular layer only that means from r1 to small r and from r2 to r1 and from r capital r2 small r2 like that's how it is okay so that potential difference across the inner layer is like this that is q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught epsilon 1 ln small r1 by r like this we got in the first lecture itself regarding underground cables so that you just need to apply by varying the x value that means from which location to which location that means for the inner layer it will be small r1 to small r right so for the next layer which is next to the inner layer potential difference is v2 and there you just need to change that r2 by r1 that's why i wrote only that okay then similarly v3 will be capital r2 small r2 that's it so what about the capacitance of dielectric the total dielectric it will be c equals to q by v because q equals to cv so it will be q divided by v1 plus v2 plus v3 because that is the total voltage because these v1 v2 v3 are the potential differences across each layer so we need to add them for getting the like they are series elements so the total voltage will be v1 plus v2 plus v3 that's how we wrote it thank you